Mac and cheese is one of the most popular comfort foods in the United States. In Germany, however, you will have a tough time finding it on any restaurant menu. Today, enjoy something that's called Käsespätzle. That sounds pretty complicated and it does take a little bit more effort, but it's so worth it. So welcome to Linda's Home Kitchen and let's start cooking. So what does Käsespätzle actually mean? Well, Käse is German for cheese and Spätzle is a southern German type of egg noodle. In this video, we show you how to make these noodles from scratch. And to do so, we put three cups of all-purpose flour in a bowl and season it with two teaspoons of salt. We mix it to incorporate the salt in the flour and then we add four eggs to it. As you can see, Linda made a little indentation in the middle of the bowl and that's where you crack in all the eggs. We also add half a cup of water and then Linda uses a wooden spoon to break up the egg yolks. And now Linda starts to fold in the flour and mix it in with the egg yolk water mix. And of course, if you want to speed up this process, you can use a kitchen mixer because it takes a while until the batter has this type of consistency. Next, we beat the batter even more. We want to try to get some air in the dough. And once bubbles start to appear, you know you have that smooth batter that you're looking for. By the way, if the batter appears to be too stiff, we can always add a little bit of water. But this looks great, so we cover the bowl with cling wrap and set it aside in a refrigerator. Now the cheese makes or breaks this recipe. We found this Emmentaler cheese at the Lidl supermarket. I thought it was pretty good cheese and it was not too expensive. If you can't find Emmentaler, you can also use red and Swiss cheese or you could use rare cheese. They would work as well. Don't use that piece of quality cheese. Anyways, we need about 12 ounces and we shred the cheese. The nice thing about this cheese, aside from adding all this flavor to the dish, once melted, this cheese becomes quite stringy but not too gooey or liquidy. I love Emmentaler. I don't know if you know, the Germans love their breakfast rolls. And for me, a fresh roll with butter and some Emmentaler cheese is just heaven. So the last piece of the puzzle are the onions. We're gonna make caramelized onions and they're gonna be the topping. We need three onions, we're gonna peel them and then we cut them in half and then we simply slice them. I think that's a lot of onions. After we caramelize them, they're gonna shrink quite a lot in size. First, we melt five tablespoons of butter. And then we add all the onions. And then you wanna stir them right away so that all the onions are covered with the liquid butter. And now we are caramelizing them by slowly cooking them for about 30 minutes. We're gonna stir occasionally. You can see the browning has already slightly started. And after 30 minutes, they should look like this. I love the brown color. They already smell amazing. So it's time to take him off the stove. So now comes the exciting part. We're gonna make the Schwetzles. First, we bring a large pot of water to a boil and we season it with salt quite a bit. And we bring our dough back out here is our trusty old Spätzle bread. Bread is basically German for board. So any wooden cutting board with a handle preferably would work just fine. And the next tool you need to make the Spätzle is a metal spatula. If you don't have one of those, a big knife might work also. So first we dip the board in the hot water. This ensures that the dough is not sticking to the board. Now if we put some of our Spätzle dough on the board. We dip the spatula in the water as well. And now we spread out the dough over the whole board. And dip the board one more time. And now Linda starts to shave off small straps of dough and push them into the water. It seems like a lot of work and I agree, but handmade Spätzle's are just so much better. It's all in the wrist and the more often you make them, but if you want to save some time, you can use one of these Spätzle makers. You simply load them up with the dough, 
put him over the pot and then you just move the dough reservoir back and forth and after a couple seconds you can see the little spetses forming and dropping into the hot water. If you make them like this they turn out a little smaller, a little bit more uniform but I personally think the first method doing it by hand looks better and probably tastes a little better too. By the way the spetzle only take a minute or two in the hot water. Once they rise to the surface of the water they are ready. Simply lift them out and drain them and put them aside and repeat the spätzle making process until all the dough is used. So now we are ready to assemble the dish. We use a oven safe casserole dish and we coat the inside with butter. We also add one tablespoon of butter to our warm spätzle and we also season them with salt and pepper. Now we can start layering the spätzle and the cheese in the casserole dish. We start making a layer of spätzle first, maybe an inch, an inch and a half thick. You also want to spread them out nice and evenly in the dish. Now we sprinkle a handful of our shredded Emmentaler cheese on top. And we repeat the process two more times. So we end up with three layers of spätzle and three layers of cheese. By the way, if you enjoy this video and if you're into interesting dishes that are also easy to make by every home cook, please consider subscribing to the channel or leave us a like. That would help a small mom and pop channel like ours out quite a bit. Thank you. So now we bake the dish in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes or just a little bit longer until the cheese is melted and the edges just start to get crispy. So the cheese is melted now. Looks just about perfect. As you can see, the cheese on top is not browned nor overly crispy. That's the way we want it. And now we are ready to top it off with our caramelized onions. They really add so much flavor to the dish. In my opinion, the caramelized onions are a must have for Kazerspätzle. If you like, you can sprinkle a little bit of chopped chives on top. And there you have it, your German alternative to mac and cheese, Kazerspätzle. I know it seems like a lot of work, but I guarantee you it's so delicious. It would also be an absolute conversation starter at any dinner party. Try it out at home. I guarantee you will love it. Thanks for watching. Yours truly, Linda and Stefan.